Hi everyone, this is Mary Ellen coming to you from Moonrise Cottage for your daily life path oracle reading. Welcome. It's great to have you here with me. My spirit guides are chattering. So if you don't know me, I'm a clairvoyant person. I've been channeling messages. Uh, <laughs> my spirit guides are saying from the great beyond. They're laughing today. Sometimes they're very funny. Sometimes they're very snarky. Um, so I'm, I have made a commitment. I've joined together with my spirit guides. Uh, the things that have been coming to me since I was quite young. Um, and back then, you know what I believe now, actually? <laughs> I had this desire to change the world. And it was in me from the time I was very small. You know, six or seven years old. I want to change the world. I don't know why I even had that thought or felt like an awareness. So spirits just sort of talking about, you know, it's been going on for a long time. I didn't really know it. But fast forward to this moment in my life, and I am here. And, oh, and there's the card. It was literally jumping up in the air. Um, that's the hummingbird, 26. So I'm here for you. That's what my spirit guides are saying. And it is my deepest desire to be here with people in order to help us move in to the great awakening that we've been promised that is coming forward. If you look at the astrology, I know that most of the people who stop by this channel are well aware of all these things, but in case you're not, go and uh, Google the great awakening and begin to educate yourself according to my spirit guides um, because they would like you to join us, to join our energies together, which is what it's uh, going to take to bring this manifestation that we hold deep in our hearts forward and this year we're going to make a lot of progress. So the essence of this card, the hummingbird, of course, it always has to do with joy when we're talking about hummingbird as an energy set point. So despite being so little, hummingbirds are great journeyers migrating between North and Central or South America to feed from the summer nectar. This gentle creature can be fiercely territorial to protect its home. Hummingbirds teach us to be gentle to ourselves and to protect our personal space. Hummingbird invites you to embark on your epic quest. Bypass the dung pile of old pain and old hurts and head for the flowers and learn to trust the calling that you hear ever so softly. And that's what my spirit guides were just talking about. So the invitation into this energy is that the buzzing you feel is the sound of your hummingbird wings preparing you to say yes to this new adventure. This is not the time to linger on what has gone wrong, but to trust in the rightness of the moment and to take bold action. Trust that success is assured, even if you must face tests and challenges to reach your destination. Know that all will be well, because the all is in the small. This mighty being comes to teach you stillness in motion. I love that notion. Thank you, Spirit. And to trust your inner knowing that the sweetest nectar is assured. If you feel your safety, comfort, or day-to-day -day survival are more important than saying yes to the invitation to explore the unknown, you will have to work much harder to achieve what is being offered to you very freely now in this moment. Still your mind, even in the midst of your very hectic schedule, heed the gentle voice that calls you to test new wings. It's time to take flight into your awakening. And my spirit guides are talking about um, trust that your pathway is the correct pathway. And uh, you know what? They're editing. Yes, of course, you must take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself and your family. But there are many, uh, Spirit's talking about micro bursts of energy that are coming through this year into which you can send your intentions and out of which you can draw some love energy. Spirit says that which we call love energy. It is a particular type of vibration. And your heart physical heart and the area around your heart chakra are specially tuned to be able to feel and receive and share this energy. So that's the message that Spirit wanted to um, 
ask you to ponder for this day. So uh, I love having you here. If you need information about me, if you want a consultation with me, of course, all that information is uh, in the links below the video. And I thank you for stopping, stopping by. Gosh, I'm tripping on my tongue. I appreciate all the likes and the shares and the subs. Keep them coming. It's really helping the channel. And have an awakened day. I'll see you tomorrow. Thanks, everyone.